actually was one of the winners of last year's Star Bus, along with Silver Valley. In the history of Star Bus, the judges have never been able to make a decision. They've always awarded the two, so I'm hoping we break that tradition tonight. Um, Just going to be a page one of the So without further ado, we're going to do it. So we're good to go? Yeah. Great. Hi everyone, I'm Jono. I'm here today to talk to you about Advent Talk. I come from New York City. It's a big and exciting place. But like all cities, there's so many places to go and things to do. And I want to get directly to a great experience. Services like Yelp don't help. They offer a lot of information but very little guidance. And sifting through thousands of reviews simply isn't the answer. Guided discovery and not search is the way to get directly to a great experience. So Adventor is choose your own adventure for the checking generation. It's a location-based smartphone app that takes you on a journey to learn and enjoy your city. The adventures are curated stories revealed to you step by step, but it's not a single track journey. Along the way, new and alternative paths will be revealed to you to check out exciting locations you may have never been to before. That's what makes us unique and that's how you choose your adventure. But here's where we really add to the experience. Our premium offering sets us apart. We connect and partner with local businesses to offer enhanced services and exclusive events. This could be pre-booking dinner at a busy restaurant, offering last minute tickets to a mystery event, and if it's raining, we bring a car service directly to where you're at. Adventor takes care of all the details. As you can see, the potential markets are enormous. Our vision is to be the first app you open any day you feel like doing something great and you're not sure what that could be, whether it's in your city or someone else's. We're looking to launch in New York City for the summer tourism rush, and from there we look to take over the world. But today, you can download our Android app and experience one of these adventures right here in Austin. We're excited for you to check it out. From there, I've forgotten the next line actually for a second there. Oh <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that's right. De thank you. No, download it, check it out, experience it for yourself, and choose your own adventure. Thank you.
Yeah, so tourists sort of also it's, then have it's to It's both. We feel there's a lot of value. I mean, people really know their whole cities, and you often go to four of the same places all the time. So it really adds value whether you live in a city and if you're visiting even more so because you don't have that friendly advice say, I know the best place to go right now. And this is what we want to offer. And, and how your, your customer acquisition plan? Yes, an interesting one. Um, we, we're, before we, when we've got our prototype Android app up, but before we do that, we're looking to start connecting with um, bloggers who are in this space and really start sharing value ourselves via Twitter and stuff, connect with people who are just looking for places. Uh, and then, you know, tweet about our app, obviously, and, you know, show off our app. So we hope to build an interest in the market prior to the fact that we launch our uh, proper app and so on. So, yeah. I think we need to bundle in some sort of higher engagement content. Uh, otherwise, people don't want to use this once a month or once every few months. And they just not remember it. They're going to forget the name or where to stash the app or how to find it. It's not like something you open up every day or even every week, I think, for most people. So there's got to be something more frequent use associated. Sure, okay. That's good too. I don't actually have an answer for that right now. Yeah, Figuring it out. Yeah, you open up.